tangents for external point to the curve. Find equation of both lines that pass through the point P 2 comma 9 and are tangent to the parabola y equals to 2x minus x square. Now this is a very typical question and it's very different from what you have been doing so far. Till now you have been finding equation of tangent line when a point was given on the curve. Now this time we are given a point P25 which is not on your curve y equals to 2x minus x square and therefore we can have two tangents from this point to the parabola. If the point would have been on the curve in that case we could have had only one. Well you can also test it out. So if you put two here for x what do you get? Two times two is four and two square is also four. So so y will be zero at p equals to, at x equals to two. So that means the point two comma nine is really not on the curve, right? So it's kind of like this that Let's try to make a sketch of this parabola. So it says 2x minus x square. So we can take x common, right? So if we take x common, what do we get? We get x, I mean, yeah, 2. We take an x common. So we can take 2 minus x in the bracket. So we have zeros at x equals to 0 and x equals to 2. So we can have a parabola with zeros at x equals to 0 and x equals to 2. So it gives you a parabola which is going downwards like this. Now we have a point which is so somewhere else, right? So at 2, the value of the function is actually 0, right? So this is 1, 0 at this point. The other one is at 2. The point P is given to us which is not on the curve, which is somewhere somewhere outside. So from that point, let us say this is your point, we can draw two tangents, like one coming like this, do you see that? And the other one, kind of, let me just make one tangent and then we will find the point. Let's say something like this, right? Let's say this is our point. So from this point, we can draw two tangents to the curve. So that is what the situation is and we need to find equation of these two tangents. Now the approach will be, they will assume some point Q on the curve, right? So a point Q on the curve will be what? If I place A as my X value, then Y value will be 2A minus A squared. You see, that is going to be the point on the curve. So let's take a point on the curve where we can draw a tangent from P, right? So let Q be a point on the curve. That means x value is a. In that case, y value will be 2a minus a square. Correct? So that is a point on the curve where we can form a tangent or we can draw a tangent from point P. And we are given a point P which is 2 comma 9 to us. Right? So what we will do is we will try to find the tangent between P and Q slope of the tangent between p and q, right? So what is going to be the slope of this tangent? y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1, right? So the slope m between p and q should be q minus v, difference of y values divided by difference in x values, correct? That means 2a minus a square minus 9 divided by a minus 2. So that becomes the slope of this tangent. Correct? But actually speaking, we are given a function, the equation of this function, which is y equals to 2x minus x square. <clears throat> now what is the slope at any point? That is y dash. We can say y dash is 2 minus 2x. So y dash at a will be y dash at x equals to a will be equals to 2 minus 2a, right? Now, since m p q, which is a slope between points p and q, and this is also a slope at the same point q, where x is equals to a, these two should be same, right? So, equation 1 should be equal to equation 2. 
So we can equate these two and then solve for a. So what we have here now is 2 minus 2a should be equals to 2a minus a square minus 9 over a minus 2. You see that? So that is what we get. Now this equation is in a, so we can cross multiply and solve for a. So we have 2 minus 2a times a minus 2 equals to 2a minus a square minus 9. Now we'll solve this equation for a, right? So when you multiply this, we get 2a, let's multiply this over here. So we get 2a, 2 minus 2 is minus 4. Then minus 2a times a is minus 2a square. And minus 2a times minus 2 is minus, minus becomes plus, plus 4a, right? 4a equals to 2a minus a square minus 9. So that is what we get as our equation to solve. Well, here it was a minus, we took it on this, yeah. So that is how we get our equation to solve. Now we can bring all the terms together and then solve for a. So let's take these terms to the right side. So we get 0 equals to 2a square. So we have taken this term to the right side. There is minus a square already there. And let's take 4a on the other side. So minus 4a and that is 2a plus 2a. And in the constants, and yes, we have 2a also here. So plus minus 2a. And a constant is minus 4, which becomes plus 4. Here we have minus 9. So that becomes our equation. Now we can combine these terms and write down a quadratic equation. 2a minus a square is a square minus 4a plus 2a minus 2a gives us minus 4a and plus 4 minus 9 gives us minus 5. So that is the quadratic equation to be solved. It can be factored. 5 times 1 is 5 and if we take the higher number is negative, we get their sum as minus 4. We can write this as a minus 5 times a plus 1, right? That is how it can be factored. And from here, we get two values of a. One is a equals to 5 and the other one is a equals to minus 1. So these are the two values at which we can expect danger from p to the given function and both will be tangent. So there are two points on the curve where we get tangent, right? Now, if a is 5, then what is the slope at this point? If a is 5, we know general equation of the slope is y dash is 2 minus 2x. Let me highlight this. So that is actually the slope at any given point, correct? So if a is equals to 5, then y dash or slope is equals to 2 minus 2 times 5, which is, let me write, which is minus 8. 2 times 5 is 10, minus 8. And if a is minus 1, then y dash is equals to 2 minus 2 times, okay, 2 minus 2 times minus 1, which is Minus 1 makes it plus 2, so 4. So y dash is either 4 or is minus 8, right? Now, if we can find the equation of the curve, equation of the tangent line now. Let's calculate the, let's find the equation of tangents now. So we have two tangents, one at the point a equals to 5, when a is 5, then what is the value of y? At 5, what is the value of y? y will be, so if x equals to 5, y will be equals to 2 times 5 minus 5 square. That is, 2 times 5 is 10, and 10 minus 5 square is 25. So let's write 10 minus 25, which is minus 15. So the point is 5 and minus 15. And the slope we calculate was m equals to minus a. So that is the slope 
5n minus 15 and the slope is this, right? So equation of line will be y equals to mx plus b. So slope is minus 8, minus 8x plus b. We can substitute 5n minus 15 to get the value of b. So that means minus 15 equals to minus 8 times 5 plus b. So from here we can solve for b which is minus 15 and 8 times 5 is 40. When you bring it on this side plus 40 equals to b and that gives you the value of b as uh, 40 minus 15. So that is 25 and therefore the equation of this line will be y equals to, let me write it in different ink, y equals to minus 8x plus 25. So that is one of the lines. For the other line, we'll do the same thing, correct? We'll do the same thing. I'm just trying to squeeze it in right there. Now, for the other point, the point is x equals to minus, a equals to minus 1, right? So we'll do it here. A is minus 1 and m, so a, a, a is minus 1, so I should have written a equals to minus 1. So what is the value of y? This is the x value. So if I put minus 1 here, I get minus 2 minus 1, which is minus 3. So y value is 2 times minus 1 minus 1 square which is minus 3, right? So the x value is minus 3. So the point here is minus 1 minus 3 and the slope is m equals to 4. And therefore, we can write these values in y equals to mx plus b equation and solve for b. So y is minus 3 equals to m is 4, x is minus 1 plus b. So b will be minus 3 plus 4 equals to b and that is equals to 1 and therefore we get this equation as y equals to slope of 4 x plus 1 right so we get two equations so these are the two tangents from an external point to the curve right so i hope you understand how we got this. Let me, let's go through this process once again. So when we are given an equation, when we are given a problem which says find equation of both lines, that means or we are given find equations from a point. That means you should check whether the point lies on the curve or not. So when you plug in 2 here, so y equals 2, if I plug in 2 here, I get 2 times 2 minus 2 square. 2 times 2 is 4 minus 4 is 0. I don't get 9. That means that the point to 9 is external, is not on the curve. So from an external point, you can actually draw two tangents. And we are interested in finding those two equations. So first part, consider a point on the curve, general point, like this. So where x could be a, then y will be 2a minus a square. Now given the point p, as 2 comma 9 you can always find slope between p and q using those two points which we found here and we get one of the equations second equation you get from the derivative y dash gives you tangent at any point and y dash at a will give you tangent at point a equate the two slopes of the tangents and then solve for a once you solve for a you get two values here in this particular case. Find corresponding y values, so you get a point. So in this case, we found when we substituted the value 5, we found that the point was 5 and minus 15. So the point was 5 and minus 15 in the first case. And for the second point, for the value of minus 1, the value of b, which we cal the y value, which we calculated was minus 3. So these are actually the two points which we calculated on the curve. Now from the derivative equation we got the slope. Once you know slope and the point then you can find equation of both the tangents separately, right? So that becomes our answer. So we can write on our answer as equation of tangents 
is there are two equations one is y equals to minus 8x plus 5 and the other one is y equals to 4x plus 1 right so I'm running out of space and therefore there has been a lot of smudging going on here but I hope you appreciate the problem and it is a very typical question which I have seen in test papers go through it properly and get it right if you get similar question in the test paper and understand the concept thank you and all the best